what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i hope everybody's having a great day as you can see we're back out in the garage with another road glide update for you guys today i apologize for the lack of uploads on the channel i've been super busy this summer with riding and this new toy i picked up this new 2018 twin turbo mustang and most of my free time was dedicated to this so i apologize for the lack of content i haven't even introduced this car to the channel yet i also have a new truck that i haven't introduced to the channel yet um, i just ran out of time and now the weather here in michigan is crappy but we're back in the garage and i have some more parts that i'm going to be installing on my 2019 road glide which most of my subscribers most of my viewers on the channel are here for harley content but we're back again with another install video on my 2019 road glide special so on today's video, we're going to be installing some new Pro Beam LED flush mount turn signals slash running lights on the front of my Rogue Glide. As you can see here, I have the factory bullet style turn signal bulbs and running lights. I'll turn them on here in just a second for you guys. Um, this is the factory turn signals that come out of Rogue Glide. And then I put the, uh, the LED ring lights in there. And then when you hit the turn signal, they flash amber just like that and I've ran these since I got the bike back in 2019 um, this was actually the first mod that I did to the road glide most of you OG followers will know that uh, most of you guys that have been following me since I picked up the road glide you'll know that that was literally one of my first mod I did to the road glide but yeah today we're gonna be removing those LED rings and installing some new pro beam LED flush mount turn signals from Custom Dynamics, of course, best in the business. And what these are here are flush mount turn signals that use the factory holes in the stock bearing and make the bike look a lot more clean and obviously more flush and not in the way. Now, the reason why I ordered these turn signals versus the rings is because every single road glide and street glide everywhere, you pull up to a bike night, everybody's got these rings. This is like the first $40. If you get them on Amazon, they're 40 bucks. If you get them from Custom Dynamics, they're 100. This is like the first mod for every bagger. Rogue Glide, Street Glide, everybody and their mother has these LED ring lights for running lights and turn signals. And I was just tired of looking like the same Rogue Glide, especially being that I have a black Rogue Glide and it's the most popular color in a Rogue Glide is vivid black. Um, I just wanted to be different. So I went ahead and bought the Custom Dynamics Pro Beam flush mount turn signals. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's install video. These shouldn't be too hard to install. If you guys follow along, you should be able to do it yourself. Let's get started. So first things first, you're gonna wanna remove your four Phillips screws that hold on your windshield. I have a Clockworks windshield. If you guys were wondering, this is the six inch windshield. And then I have a GoPro mount here. So this just twists to the left. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll want to remove the four Phillips screws, remove your windshield, and then you'll get to the air vent part next, and that just literally pops up and off. So now that I got the top air vent piece off, I went ahead and cleaned up around where the windshield was. This windshield's been on here for about two years now, so uh, there was a lot of dirt and bugs and everything else. So now what we're gonna do is disconnect the turn signal plugs here. Right there and right here. And then once you unplug these, you're gonna go down here to the factory turn signals and remove this 3 16 Allen bolt on each side. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Once you remove your bolts for your turn signals, you wanna go ahead and pop out your speaker grills because you have to get to a Torx bolt that's behind here to remove the outer fairing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now.
All right, so once you remove your speaker grills, you're gonna take a T27 Torx bit and remove that bolt right there. Once you remove the T27 Torx bolts from up top under the speaker grills, you're gonna go down here and remove the two T25 Torx bits that are holding this deflector piece on. This is holding the bottom of the outside fairing on and then once you remove those, the fairing will pop right off. So once you have all your Torx bolts out of there, the outer fairing literally just comes right off. Like so. All right, so now that you have your outer fairing off, you wanna go ahead and remove the two quarter inch Allen bolts that are holding on the OEM turn signals. So now we're gonna take our new flush mount left side turn signal with the gasket. Make sure the gasket's properly aligned here. Uh, we're gonna do the left side first and basically we're gonna run this wire through the existing hole in the fairing. We're gonna go ahead and pull that through. Then you have this little guy, you gotta put it through. Like so. Pull it through. And then this here. You turn around, line up with the holes, slide it into this little slot right here, and then pull the wire through. And then down here is where you wanna make sure it is properly seated and lined up with the flush mount turn signal. And you wanna go ahead and put this little threaded piece through the hole you line it up and then it sits in there just like that now we're gonna use the 7 16 Allen bolts that were supplied with the kit so we're gonna go ahead and use the Loctite that was supplied with the kit and put some Loctite on the threads this is for the bolt going into the turn signal from the inside of the fairing so we'll throw some Loctite on there we'll actually grab the other bolt as well and do one of these. You don't need that much on there. Just as long as you have a little bit of Loctite on each bolt, should be good. Put it through the back here. Make sure this is all lined up. Make sure your gasket is lined up. We're gonna go ahead and thread that guy in. Like so. And you just want to go ahead and snug this up because it is plastic. It's metal on plastic. So just give it a nice little snug. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the right side turn signal. All right, so once you have your flush mount turn signals mounted up, you're going to want to run the wires up the side of the fairing with some two-sided tape. The factory two-sided tape might be messed up, so I'm gonna actually pull these off and just use some electrical tape. And then you'll have the leads from the wires coming out up top, just like you did when you took the stock turn signals off. All right, guys, so I went ahead and taped the wire to the inside of the fairing. As you can see here, it's not the prettiest job, but you don't see that once it's on the bike. I got these zip-tied here, just like factory. And now we're good to go to put the outer fairing back on the bike. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So instead of using the factory Allen bolts that came out of the stock turn signals, they supplied us with these gloss black Allen head bolts 
that we're gonna use in place of the stock one. It's the same thread size. So the new bolts are a 5 30 seconds Allen. So we're gonna go ahead and use that to tighten those up. Just wanted to point that out that you do not use the factory bolts. You use the gloss black bolts. That way they use the gloss black bolts that were provided with the kit. That way you don't see them through the hole here once you get this mounted up on the bike. Everything is gonna be gloss black. So let's get it on there. All right guys, so we just got the outer fairing mounted back on the bike. I'm stoked with how these things turned out. You can't even see them. They literally blend right into the fairing. And they don't stick out like the factory turn signals. I absolutely love how they turned out. And then you have the black bolt inside there so you can't see the bolt through the hole there. Now before I put the speaker grills back in and before I put the bolts in the back here to secure the outer fairing, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the lights and make sure they work first before I button everything up. They provided us with these converters. So we have to plug these into the factory wiring harness and then plug the turn signals into this. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll show you guys where I mount these and then we will be able to turn them on and see if they have power. So just for shits and giggles, I went ahead and plugged in the lights without the converters and they work just fine. Look how bright these little LEDs are, guys. Like, holy crap. I cannot believe how bright those two lights are. They're way brighter than the halo LEDs I had in there before. Like, I can't even look at it. I know the camera doesn't do justice, but I, I'm telling you guys right now, I cannot look at those two side marker lights, the two turn signal lights, the running lights. I can't look at them without looking through the camera because they literally blind you. I am stoked on how these turned out. And if you guys can tell, the color of the LED and the turn signals now match the headlight. Whereas before, with my Amazon $40 specials, the LED was more of a blue tint. I'll put it up here on the screen for you guys so you can see what it looked like before. And now, the color of the LED is like a 6000K bright white. It matches the LED headlight perfect. So I'm super stoked on how these turned out, guys. Custom Dynamics knocks it out of the park once again. They make great products. I will show you what other products I have of theirs on the bike here at the end of this video. But uh, yeah, everything works. Let's go ahead and try the blankers real quick. And the blankers work. So I'm not sure why you need the converter boxes, um, <clears throat> but I think I'm gonna put them in there just to be safe and just because that's what the directions told us to do. So I think I will put the converter boxes in there. All right guys, so I went ahead and plugged the converters in just because that's what the directions told me to do. And now I see why they wanted you to plug the converters in. Because as you can see, when I turn the turn signal on, it now flashes 100% amber. Which is which before I'll put it up here on the screen, before when I put the turn signal on, it also flashed white. So it was the yellow LED and the white LED flashing at the same time, which therefore works as a blinker as a turn signal, but it's not as bright or not as amber as it would be with the converter harness plugged in. So I'm glad I went ahead and plugged those in because as you can see here, the amber turn signal is definitely a lot brighter with the converter harness plugged in versus when it's not. So definitely plug those in. All right guys, so I got everything buttoned up on the road glide, got the windshield back on, got the vent back on, got the speaker grills back in, got the little deflectors back on, and everything went back together precisely. As you can see, the new flush mount turn signals from Custom Dynamics, you can't even see them. They blend right into the fairing, especially on the black bike. They definitely set off the front end of the Rogue Glide and make it stand out from the rest. I will leave a link in the description below on where you can get them. I purchased mine from Racy's Harley Davidson here in Lapeer, Michigan. If you're a local and you live in Michigan, make sure you guys hit up Racy's Harley Davidson. If you're looking for a new or used Harley, contact Mike. I'll put his info up here on the screen. The service department is top notch there. They take care of your bike. They know what they're doing. They're not gonna give you the runaround and their turnaround times are very fair and uh, very reasonable so make sure you guys hit them up they take real good care of me up at Racy, so I want to make sure to constantly shout them out on the channel they're like my local dealer that uh, I get all my parts through and that's who actually tuned my bike with the new 128 kit if you haven't already check out that video I will put all the dealership info in the description below and there's a reason why I drive an hour one way just to see those guys up at Racy's. they take real good care of me they make you feel like family speaking of Racy's, I just brought my bike up there the other day and what they did for me was the CBO flash so in the next upcoming videos I have a lot of parts coming for the Rogue Glide, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Um, I'm basically doing a whole new handlebar setup, and with the new handlebar setup, I can't run my fork lock, which on a Rogue Glide, as you know, the fork lock is your ignition. 
So you have to get what's called a CBO flash. So like on a CBO Harley, you don't have to use the lock to turn the ignition on. You just hit the start button here. So I took my bike up to Racy's. Jim up there flashed it for me, the same guy who tuned my bike. Uh, he flashed it for me in five minutes. So now to turn my bike on, to turn the ignition on, all you have to do is hit this. No more fork ignition there. And you'll see why here in the next upcoming video, so stay tuned. If you guys haven't already seen on the channel, go back a few videos and you'll see that I installed the Custom Dynamics LED filler lights here and the Custom Dynamics curved plate frame. I installed that when I got rid of my factory stretched bags and put the standard bags on here because I went for the more performance bagger look. Definitely love Custom Dynamics. They make quality products and don't cheap out like I did and order all these LED lights from Amazon because they just do not hold up over time. So make sure you spend the money and get the good stuff so that you only have to do it once. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all the support on the channel. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I apologize for the lack of Harley content on the channel, but stay tuned. I have a lot of content coming, uh, a lot of parts coming for the Rogue Glide. I got a lot of Lowrider ST content coming. I just haven't edited the videos yet, so stay tuned for that. If you're here for ST content, we got a bunch of parts that we just put on that, and um, I can't wait to pick the camera back up and uh, get some more install videos done for you guys. Like I said, it's been a busy summer. Haven't had much time to pick up the camera, but. We are going into winter here in Michigan. It's currently 26 degrees and snowing, so I have plenty of time to be out here in the garage filming for you guys and installing all these parts on the Rogue Glide and on the Lowrider ST. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.